everyone my name is sandy and for this tutorial i'm going to walk you through the basics of react and i'm going to show you how to set up the react app and we will we will implement a web page using react app so i mentioned earlier that there are two important tools for you to install for you to set up a react app and it's the node and the npm so i'm going to use my command prompt to show you that i have mine installed and you can also use this to check that yours is rightly installed so i'm going to type node dash v and i can see my version number there showing that it's installed i'm going to do the same thing for npm yes and i have my version number there showing that it's installed also you should have your node application also installed yes i have mine here and you can open up the terminal the environment has been set up for using node.js and npm that shows that it's rightly installed so uh i will go ahead to show you how to set up how to create the react app and for me i'm going to Create my on my desktop, so I will cd to my desktop. I'm navigating to my desktop because I want to create my app on my desktop, create the React app on my desktop. So the next thing I'm going to do is to type npx create React npx create React app. I'm going to name my Project folder. I'm going to call it my React app. You can name yours whatever you like. And by the way, before you do this, if you're running React for the first time, you should type npm install dash g create React app. So you're supposed to do this first. If you are running React for the first time, because this means that uh, th this will make this will initialize create React app for your PC, right? Globally, the G there means globally. This is going to install React app on your PC. The create React app on your PC globally, so that anytime you want to create a React app, you will just have to type npx create React app and the name of the app, which for my own case, it's going to be my React app. Right. So if you are, remember, if you are starting React app for the first time, remember to type the npm install global create React app. So I've done mine already, and I'll just go ahead to type the npx create React, React app, my React app. I enter and this should set up a React app for me on my desktop. Okay, you can see it's, it's installing the packages that we need. And this actually takes time. Yes, it does take time like uh, four to five minutes depending on your connection. Okay, so I'm just going to pause this. And I'll come back when it's done installing. Okay. Okay, so our packages have been installed. I think it took like three minutes or so, and we have the React app set up. Okay, from when we created our React app, my React app, it installed so many packages, right, and all of this down to the very end where we have our happy hacking. So our package has been successfully installed. Okay, so next thing I would want to do now is to go to my desktop 
see it and there it is it's installed on my desktop right here okay and i'm going to open that with vs code to see what we have there okay this is what it looks like okay this is what our files looks like my react app and i'm just going to open up the files in the project we have the public file that has the index html and some icons and images we have this source folder it has app css app js and this other files there and we have the git ignore so uh by default we have app has a git initialized already so we don't even have to type git in it when we have to push it to it up so it's already initialized with it okay so uh that's that's that and we have a react app ready so uh next thing we are going to do now i'm going to run this app and to run it i'm going to use the terminal on vs code you can use the terminal on node to do it or you can use the one on vs code to do it it's still the same thing right okay. so I, I'm, I'm just going to use the one on vs on the node.js to run it so to do that i'm going to cd into my project file which is the my react app right and the next i'm going to do is type npm start and how my my react app would start running okay so you can see it we have script start starting and also this takes a few minutes seconds to minutes and while that is coming up so i'll just close this while that is coming up i just want to talk briefly about react and i want to say that react is simply a combination of html css and javascript in one platform right I, I just want to simplify that by that so many things involved in react so our browser just okay so the script okay so it is so here it is that compiled successfully and we have it pop up on our browser on localhost 3000 Right, so this is our React app currently running. Okay, so I was talking about React itself. Our the React is just JavaScript, HTML, and CSS in one platform. Right, unlike what we usually do, we have the index HTML, the style, the CSS. We have the JavaScript. But in React, we have those three uh tools all in one platform and we can work with it manipulate it to how we want it okay so that's 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 react for you you can see that we still in the file which is the app.js we have the right we have header which which is for html right so let's go through the project folder briefly in the public file we have the, our index html Right, remember the doc tab, HTML, head and everything, the head tag, there it is, and the body tag, there it is. Okay, I remember we, we said that all our codes would go inside the body tag. So what happens in React is that all the codes that should go into the body tags, they are broken down into different JavaScript files, right? So like this now should be in the body in the body tag yes but it's been uh it's been written on the app.js file right and that's why we can see this on the browser okay so 
okay. So we have the index HTML, which is just like our normal HTML. And in the source folder, we have the app JS. We have the app CSS too for styling, right? And these other ones are not really important. The app.test.js and the report with fatality that set up test. So not really important. Our emphasis, our yeah, emphasis on app CSS and app JS. We have index CSS too. And we have the index.js. All of this just to support HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in one platform. And we will be working on the app JS. Okay, so uh, what you're going to do right now, I'm just going to show you how you can build a web page using React. And we are going to use the assignment that was given to us on week five, the responsiveness assignment. I'm just trying, I'm going, I'm going to replicate this using React. Right. So let's let's get right into it. And what I'm going to do, right, I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to delete this. And this is what we have left. Okay. And um, okay. Let's let's get the the files we need from here. And I'm going to go to the, the folder where we have our files. What we need the images. Okay, so I'm going to download the images. And I need this. I need the logo. I need this. I need this. I need this too. So this is download into my download folder in my files in my file explorer, and there it is four of them. I'm just going to copy this and take it to where I have my React app project folder on my desktop. It's on my desktop and there it is. And in the source folder, right, that's, that's in the source folder, yeah? I could decide to do it here. I'm going to create an image an image folder so that I could add my images. Yeah, so this is my image folder, and that should reflect right here. And this is where I'm going to add my images. The images are just copied. Okay. If I go back to my VS Code, I should see my images, right? That yeah, they know. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to be fast with this. Okay, so uh, what we are going to do, this other logo is the first logo that was there. So I'm just going to delete it and I'm going to bring in the images we are going to use for the page. The images are just downloaded to the, the images, right? So to bring it in, you have to type import. Right. Uh, let's say the logo from from images, right? Flash logo. I'm just going to copy the logo name. So this is how bringing images right to your files okay so before we we do that let's look at this we have import app.css this imports the css file to the javascript file this is javascript file remember we are mixing it's a react to the combination of html javascript and css right 
So we have the index H 